Today I'm going to show you the hierarchical logging system that I use in my applications. This system can set the record ownership based on the user position in the organizational chart. In this way the system is not affected by user changes and managers can see the task of their entire team together. The first step is creating the tables. This will be a project and task management database. So our tables are TBL users, TBL tasks and TBL projects. The file link in the description below so you can download and review the table details. Second step of course the relationships. Every field to be selected a user must connect to the TBL users. You may find plenty of videos on YouTube with the search term MS Access creating relations between tables. But the purpose of this video is to focus the idea and experiences. So I will share a quick example only. Another important relation is between the projects and the task table. Might be many tasks connected to one project, so the connection type is one too many. This is relationships window. We can check the connections between the tables by clicking the line between them. Connections should be one to many type. In this step, we will define an authorization level. I named it rank. We will create a unique field. So represent the organization position. All users using this database should have a rank definition. This is a sample organizational chart that I created for this video. The rank value for the topmost position is 1. We add a point to the rank value when the level is lowered. Then we add a number starting from 1 for each user at the same level. In other words, write down the user supervisor's rank first, then write the last sequence number of the same level plus one. This is how we determine rank values for each position. We will read the rank value at the opening of Access Database for the active user. Adding a new record to the user table must be done by the administrator only. So the rank value should be determined by administrators for all users. Defining user ranks is the most important part of this video. Now the definition is completed and using this rank for the queries just using the length of the, the string and then the tree for the jack sparrows starting with the same rank with the definition of 1.1 jack sparrows team for example Thomas Lecter 1.1.2 starting with the 1.1.2 Jason and Tracy is the team of the are the team of the Thomas letter. Step number four: For a multi-user structure, the database file must be located on a network drive. Unlike Excel or Word, all users can open the same file at the same time. First, put your database in the, in any network drive for all users can access, read and write. I use this system folder to put the database data part I and mean the backend part when I split it. And we create a background folder. This folder is for the user files such as att attachments, images or something else. 
users folder should include the picture of the our users as you see the the name of the image should start the ID number of the user okay the step five the login form select TV users create form this is a default form prepared by access but we will change this design view control a select all controls and delete them also we will delete the form header okay at the form design we will add our fields control a and we will hide this controls from the user so we don't need the labels select all properties visible no it's better to make these controls group now what form design again add a combo box this will our username selection combo box so next id username and title that's enough next okay username I'm going to add a text box here for the password it's password so we can use input mask as password go to form design add a button here cancel we will use these buttons from the VBA code add another button cancel and exit okay the left form is our login form and the right form is the standard user login form on the left hand side in our form as you see everything has been closed every controls has been removed so users cannot click anywhere else than the username and the password and the buttons login ex and exit on the right hand side a lot of controls users can interact with the forms and reach other records other users information so we need to close all controls in this form now go to design view format on the format tab and on the format tab now starting to close everything default view is single form is correct hello form view yes we want this data sheet view no layout view no I'm closing this picture type is not important And auto center no auto resize yes fit the screen yes sizable border style we remove all borders none record selectors no navigation buttons no scroll bars now neither control box no close box no minimum maximum buttons no mobile no it's not a split form so that's it Now step number six I'm creating a main switchboard form the form name will be FRM main
I'm inserting the background. The name should be the name of the form will be FRM main. I will explain how to make the buttons in the main switchboard in the next video. Similar to the login form, we closed, we hide all the controls and the tools from the forms. I'm not going to show all the process of the coding. Instead, I will explain the details. Finish and test the code. Okay, I'm going to explain the VBA code first, starting to the main form. At the opening, I mean the form load event of the main form. First thing is to open the login form and set the dimensions by using the main form inside dimensions. And move the login form to the end of the right hand side of the screen. This is the login form code. At the beginning the image 115 is the background image of login form and the, the code is set to background image height to the same of the form height. Now this is the exit button quit without saving anything and this is the combo box change event. When this combo box is changed the password, if already entered a password, code is a password and set focus to the password field after selection and also requiring the image user controls so the pictures can be refreshed. This is OK button. If the, ta if the entered password is not equal to the field of the password, wrong password message is shown and when the password is successful just hide the login form we are not closing the login form at this stage in order to use the information inside the login form from the queries now let's have a look to the mode modules get user image module now this is the use get user image function the system and users folder and create a file name by using the ID number and add a G JPEG extension and returns to this path. Now we have a hide ribbon function here we didn't use right now but if you use at the beginning you can hide or show the ribbon of the Microsoft Access. Module 2 this is for the background it's exactly the same with the image users creating a path from, from the background image and returns it. Now the login system is ready. Let's see how it works. First I'm going to log in as a salesman with no team, Jack Jones. When he logged in, he can see the upcoming task on the main screen. I have a simple list here and uh, there is a combo box here to show the whole team but Jack is a single person so there are no other people on the list. I have had also simple buttons here to select the range of the date, this week's tasks, today's tasks and also I have add a temporary button here to open login form again for this video. Now let's go a little bit higher in the organizational chart. For example, Thomas Lecter. When he log in, he can see his tasks for tomorrow, for this week. As you remember, there was two people on his team. When click here, he can see 
as a three civilians. I mean his team's task in here and he can select Jason Bourne's tasks or himself's task. We will prepare a detailed video for explaining the queries and the lists for the project management database and you will see the detailed examples on this video but this is a simple example that how the login system works let's see another example maybe a bigger team let's go higher Jack Sparrow of the manager okay you can see the teams of Jack Sparrow of course we can add a simple buttons maybe the checkbox for uh, selecting all tasks but this is not the correct place we will have a comprehensive form for the project management final words with this system you can filter the data according to organizational chart and you can view the data with the eyes of your team and no need to make a form based uh, or user based security for this example uh, you can use item based security in the next video we will explain the detailed use of this login system and queries and how to add the system into your existing database queries and forms thank you